to start our class now. Hey, you unmute now your voice. I can hear you. I I can feel the presence of you all. Hey, don't keep quiet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what do you see on the screen? Do you see Do you see the chat? The chat window as well as the slide. No, the slide. Hmm, just the slide. Ah. Okay. Um, the slide is not. Um, it's not very nice today. The reason is I convert the PDF file into um uh into PowerPoint so that I can use the presentation PowerPoint pen. Uh, because the pen from the WebEx is mm, mm, somehow I think it's lagging too much. Yeah? So that's why I feel like uh, it's better to use pen from my screen. So I cannot scribble on PDF yet. So that's why I, there's some error uh, you will see in the symbols because the conversion is not 100% perfect from PDF to, um, to PowerPoint, yeah? Right, uh, okay. So let me start recording as well, a backup, okay? Right, so today we're going to do, uh, we're going to do chapter 11, okay, chapter 11 on, um, on reverse engineering, but what it means is actually uh, FSM analysis. Okay, we started with finite state machine introduction, whereby we introduced Mealy and more machine. Uh, so if you remember, mainly is this output depends on not on the external, not only the state or the present state, but also external input. I'll answer my, my daughter's call. Eh? A minute. I'm going to do it online. Eh? Doktor, tak dengar suara. Okay. 
Ah okey. Oh sorry. Hmm. Ambat cakap. Anyway, <laughs> kita tak apalah skip whatever that I have already said. So basically for the reverse engineering is actually what? FSM analysis. So these are the procedure. So let's go to the procedure. So what you do is the objective for reverse engineering is actually you want to, to study or to analyze the behavior of a finite state machine, given finite state machine in that. And, and uh, the best thing is actually to derive the state diagram from a given circuit. So what you have to do, the process, basically you have to determine, first of all, whether the circuit, the given circuit to you is either, is it mini or more? And then from there you find number of states and then you have to derive the state, the next state and output equation and then next state and output K maps. But actually K maps ini you can either use it or you can skip. And then you get the state table, state table probably is important and state diagram. Okay? So the last is actually the state diagram because that actually will show you the behavior. Is it a counter? Is it a vending machine or whatever process it shows? Eh? Now this is one example. Okay. Uh, so if you tell me, what is this? Is it mainly or more? Huh? How do we know this uh, circuit? Is it mainly machine or more machine? Tell me. Oh. Do you remember what is the different the difference between milli and more? You don't remember? It's a more machine because the output depends on states only. Do you re rely on the answer here or you remember? Uh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, the answer is that. So if you look at the Y, Y is only depend on Q1 and Q0. It doesn't depend on the X. Therefore, this is yes, this is more machine. Yeah? If the X has a line that goes direct to the Y, that is milli machine. Yeah? So this is more machine. So for more machine, right, then what you do, what next you need to do is, uh, let me rather than go into the, the slide, the next slide, uh, you see what next is that you need to know how many bits or how many state. How many state do you think you're going to have? Hmm? You have two flip-flop. So if you have two flip-flop, this is one, this is two. So two flip-flop, you have two flip-flop. Why can't I write? Why can't I write? Okay. So you have two flip-flop. Okay. So that means if you have two flip-flop, that means you may have Two power of two, two power of two, which is four maximum four states. Okay, you can go up to maximum four state because this Q one and Q naught can be zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay, so that's the first thing that you decide, and what you need to get is the equation for Q one and Q zero. So what will be the equation for Q one? Sorry, uh, no, you don't need the equation for Q one and Q naught. Q1 and Q0 is present state. You need to get the equation for this one, D flip flop. This is actually, if you study before, this is your Q1 plus, and this is actually Q0 plus, right? So what is Q1 plus? Q1 plus, this one, eh? the D input of the D flip flop is Q1 plus. Q1 plus is X, and with, what is the input here? Q0 bar. And whereas your Q0 plus or D, uh, D0, Q0 plus is equal to X, um, this is exclusive no. So exclusive no with Q dot bar. And you open this one, this is actually X Q naught, uh, X bar Q naught bar plus uh, x q naught right so you got the equation for q1 plus and q naught plus and then the output the output is y more output y is equal to q1 q naught so here obviously q1 and q naught does not depends on your x that's why it is more 
Then what you do next, once you have, remember the target is to come up with state diagram. So before state diagram, if you reverse, you have to come up with state table, right? So once you have this equation, right? Can you come up with the, this is basically the equation. Uh, you can do KMAP to come up with the mean terms like this one. Or you can actually straight go to the, uh, this is a longer way. Uh, I don't suggest you do this way because I think the equation is simple enough for you to derive this one. Now remember what's the equation just now? I prefer my writing just now. Uh, X Q not bar, right? And then uh, X, uh, or you can say X exclusive no with Q not. Okay, X Q not bar, and then right. So you can do the K map if, if if you like. But actually, if you can, if you can just keep this part straight away, go to the K map also can. Remember, your state table consists of your present state input, next state output. So the equation for Q zero plus and Q not plus already done. So what is it? Just now try recall again. Your Q one plus is equal to who remember? Uh, X. X Q not X Q not. No, with Q not bar, right? Yeah. And then, and the whole thing bar. Whereas Q zero, uh, sorry, Q zero plus. Is uh, it's faster using my my uh, this one? Okay. Uh, and so Q zero plus just now is equal to X Q one bar. Is it? Uh, I do. I am have such a short memory. Q zero bar X and Q one exclusive all with X bar, right? Correct. No, this is not correct. This part is not correct. So this one. Eh, correct lah. How do we? Q0 bar X that is for Q1 plus. Ah, I mean, you stay here. This one is Q0 plus, right? This is Q0 plus. Where is my pen? This is Q not plus. And this one is Q1 plus. Anyway, I'm playing with the screen. Eh? I'm drawing this one. Eh? Today I'm using my Wacom today. But uh, since it does, I mean, it's playing with me now because there's a button there. Uh, that I accidentally click. So Q1 plus is X. Q. I oh, forget it. Go back to the previous one. So this one Q1 plus is Q not bar X. Q not bar X. So look at this one. Uh, Q1 plus is X. This is one. One X. Another X. Another X. Another X. There's four places. And Q0 bar. How is it? Q1. Q1 bar. So Q1 bar. So 1, 0. That's why you got uh, uh, Q0. This is 1. Right? That is 1. And then you have here, you have 1 here. And uh, 1, 0 again. Sorry, 1, 0. Yeah, so any okay. Okay, full sangat, eh? What is it? Can you fill up this one on your own? This is quite simple. This one is not very nicely done because it's it's squash, right? The 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 zero one one zero need too too close to each other. If it's a bit separated, because what you do is actually you have to complete uh one for Q one and then you complete the Q zero. You will not be able to complete both at the same time. Okay? So if the formula just now if Q0 bar X for Q1, so Q0. Here Q0 is 0, 1. So 0, 1. You got 0, 1 here. 
zero one is one, and then another here zero one is one. That's why you have only two one. Okay. Whereas for the Q zero bar is uh, Q one exclusive all with X, exclusive no with X. So Q exclusive all no with X meaning. Mm, exclusive no right so you got uh, one zero zero is one and then what uh, one zero is zero 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 is one one zero is zero zero one is zero one one is one this is one one right uh, and so on so you once you get the state machine uh, sorry once you get the state table what happened there? Once you get the state table, okay. Oh, what happened here? Okay. Microsoft, do you want to keep that donation? Right. So go to the next one. Ah, uh, my presentation is gone. Wait, 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 wait. My pen. Okay. So next is you transfer the information into the table. So how many state table you have? For example, you have the the zero zero here. Ah. Yeah, this one zero zero right. Okay, and now the from the zero zero here. If the x is zero, where does it go? So oh, let's assume I just playing with this one. Uh. zero one state, one zero state. Uh. Okay. This is the challenge I have to face by using this. This is the, for example, this is another state and this is another state. Let's just, because I want to use the same side. So from state 0, 0, 0. Now we know that using the state, this one, you got output triggered. So here, the output triggered. Can you remember why is only Q1, 1, 1. This is 1, 1. So actually within this box, this one you can write y underneath here you can if you if you start with binary and you have to put zero 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 and one but you can also use a variable variable means when there are when there are no variable let me let me try to make it nice Okay, so where, where, do, where is my, I don't have the circle. Eh? Hmm. So let's assume again, this is state zero. From state zero, if the x is zero, where do you go? From state zero, this is another state. Ah, this is another state. And this is another state. From state zero, if x is zero, it go to one. That means it go to here. When the, up, the input is zero. If the input is one, it go to state two. That means from zero, it goes to it goes from here, it goes to state two here. When the x is one. That's finish uh, the first row. Se second row. Now if you are in state one, if the input is zero. You go back to itself so that you need to have to loop back or zero. If it's one, it goes to zero, so that means it goes back up to one. Right? Then, then uh, and so you finish this, this one. Then that one, 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 once you are in one, one zero state, state two, if it's zero, it goes to zero, so that means this one go back to zero if it's zero. And if it's one, it goes to state three, so go down. If one label one, 
And now when you are, so that's finished. You have to do one by one. Okay. And then from state one one, for example, if the input is zero, it go back to zero. So you have to a long wire go back to zero. Okay. If this is zero, and then if it's one, it goes to zero one. That means if it's one, it go to zero one here. If it's one. Right? Now it looks very messy, but the actual figures is actually there. Quite nice. Yeah. But I'm just to the one that I'm trying to show you. Now, this one, the output inside here, you can you can also replace by just saying this one got Y. Okay, you got Y here. And you have Y here. Oh my gosh. You got Y here and the rest you just leave it. You just don't put anything here. That means no output triggered except here. You got put a line and then write a Y. Okay, that is also another way. Or another way of doing it, sometimes rather than saying zero, you do X bar, X, X, X. X bar, X, X bar. Can so can also do that. I mean, rather than I mean, here is X bar, yeah, X bar. You show all the process. So now you know. Now can you figure out what is it? Eh? It looks when like X bar and what well, is random. Right? If you say it's counter, you don't say it. From zero going to one, if zero, and then from one if zero stay in one. If it's one, go to zero. Right, this one. If from state one, uh, if zero stay zero, no. Uh, state two, if it's zero. So for for you to draw this one, sometimes maybe you have to draw twice. I would say, maybe uh, at first you got very messy pictures like this, and then you can redraw and to make it something better. Okay, so this is the ultimate uh, part, uh, the 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 final thing that you want to do. So. So now it de de describe the behavior of the given circuit just now. Okay, so that is the the reverse engineering. So reverse engineering, you have the system. Maybe you want to troubleshoot or you want to see how it works. Maybe you as an engineer uh, in future, obviously, as an engineer, sometimes you receive something, some new product from overseas or from a company, and you were asked to study about the product. In other words, you have to reverse engineering. That's a process of engineering. Yeah, you have the product rather than, and probably you do reverse engineering. Probably, uh, to analyze the circuit, see how you mod you can modify the circuit. For example, uh, rather than going here, probably you want to modify the circuit, right? So from that behavior, you can do something about it. Then you can uh, re redesign. Meaning, from this one. You modify the state diagram, and I think probably uh, minimum changes at the state. Right now, this is another type of machine. Now, now you see what happened with the output Y. You have this wire, right? You have this, so that means obviously this is milli because now Y is uh, Y is equal to uh, Q one, Q naught, and X X Q one and Q0. Now because there are external input and therefore uh, this is milli. Yeah, because it depends on not only the present state but also uh the but also the input uh, i need to pause again sorry wait
my daughter calling me again. Uh, right, so let's continue. So this is Mealy, right? Uh, what else? Again, you get you have to find out the equation. You have to find out the equation for for the uh, here for this d, right? Subhanallah. Yeah. Okay, hey, work from home. This is what happened. The line saying tak okay. Ha, ha. No, no, no. Your line is okay. Uh, I was disturbed disturbed by my daughter just now. Okay, right. Uh, is it okay now? You sure? You sure? Is it okay now? Okay. Sorry. All right. So now, uh, again, what do you do? You you come up with a, that. This is the second equation. Uh, sorry, the second circuit. So again, you have to find out the equation for D. And remember, for D flip flop, uh, this is actually your next step. Yeah. This is actually your next state, so that means this one is your Q. Okay, this is your Q1 plus. This is your Q1 plus. Okay, and your Q1 plus now is equal to X, X, and I think the same question, right? This is like the same circuit, except that now your output is only the difference, only the output. So if you look at, uh, this is the same circuit. Now let's look at the, let's look at the, uh, forget, this one you don't need to move. Right? Uh, it's the same circuit, right? except that your Y is Q1, Q0, X. The rest is the same. So what is the difference that you see? Um, if, actually, if you go back to, I think the best thing probably go back to here, right? If you go back to here, the only difference, oh, it looks messy, right? Scary, macam harga hantu, eh? Uh, here, what is it? Uh, only different is uh, the output Y is Q1, Q0, x that means this one now are uh, all zeros you have uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 1. You have 0, 1 here 0 my pen is playing with me 0, 1 okay so you have 0, 1 this is different so now it become milli so mainly your output can be variation. Eh? Is the, the the variation here? So if you look at the resultant, you can forget that one. Now for milli, this is milli. What is the difference between milli now? Is that your output is not inside the circle. The circle is the state, but here. Eh? So this is actually x bar slash with y bar, for example. So your output is here. So that means by right you have to write legend now. But good practice is that you have x slash y. So the x is a variable that you use for the input and y for the variable for the output. So that means zero. It looks very similar to before. The prominent difference is that now along with the transition you also have the output. And the the Oh, no, I see the ta this, uh, table. Eh? So this is the difference eh? in the output. The rest is the same. 
So for the melee, you have to show all. You cannot skip. And what can you see with the? Can you investigate this? Um, can you investigate this waveform? One is the Y for melee output, and one is Y for more output. What do you see? If you look at Y, this is a Q1 and Q0 uh, that you will get. Okay, you got Q1 plus and Q0 plus just now. The prominent or the main difference is that here for melee, because melee just now it depends on state 1 1. So as long as you are in state, here is state 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, this is two, two, two pulses. So this is state uh, 0, 1, this is state 0, 0, and now you are in state 1, where is the 1, 1? Why depend on 1, Q? For the more y is equal to q1, 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 1, 1, right? So 1, 1 is here. 1, 1. Oh, yeah. And also this, this, uh, this flip flop is negative edge triggered. I think, look at this circuit again. Oh, here. This one, right? You got bubble here. It means that it is a negative edge trigger. That's why. Uh, uh, that is why you have that output triggered during negative state. Ne output triggered during negative. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why output triggered negative, right? And then this is state one one. So for melee, as long as you are in the state 1, then you follow the input. If the input is 1, the output is 1. If the input is 0, the output is 0. And then go back 1, it is 1. So that means all the variation at the output from 1, 0, 1, for as long as you are in the, in the same state, it will be detected. However, for, y, for more, as long as the output depends on the state. So this is the state, uh, we can say state S3 la or 1, 1, right? So we are in this state. And then if you're look, looking at it, this is uh, this one is triggered. This is 0, 1, state 1. This is 0, 0, um, triggered 1, 0. And then this is 0, 0. So it looks like you only have this state only once throughout from you can say if you are you have t t is moving this way right so only this time you have the the q1 is equal to one and q0 equal to one state or you can say state three or state one one so that's why you have output only here right are you okay? Uh, you three, you here already, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Kali, because I like the last time you check with me, you say is you cannot hear me, right? And then you don't say anything. All right. This is uh, another example. And again, this is more machine. Ah, this is JK flip flop. So for JK flip flop. Uh, it is not in our scope, but it is possible. If you have JK flip flop, then you have this is analysis. Eh? Analysis, you need to get the for, equation for the J. You need to get the equation for J and for K. Okay? You need to get the equation for J and K. For example, what is J here? Uh, J here is equal to X. K here is equal to X. And what is it? X and with Q bar. Okay. And then the J here is X again. K here is exclusive all X with Q1 bar. Okay. So you see this one? Right. Ah. 
Okay. Uh, so you can you can do the by the same method. Here you you say actually previous one what we did is we look for d one and d zero, but d one for special case for d flip flop d one is also q one plus. So for this one you get the j one equation. Uh, J0 equation, K1 equation, and K0 equation, and the output equation, right? I go very fast this one because I don't think I'm going to go very detailed. And then you can apply either, you have to recall this equation, right? If you recall this equation, this is the equation for uh, Q plus. Uh, Q plus is equal to J Q bar plus Q bar K Q Q bar Q J Q bar plus K bar Q. This is K bar. This is Q bar. Okay. The one I'm going to share with you is actually the, the original PDF file. So you don't have this error. Eh? So you got uh you can use uh K map. But actually you can also until pre previously when I teach this subject digital electronics, you can do the present state. And rather than having the next state, you put in between here uh, J1, K1, and J0, K0. In between, there's another, uh, what do you call like a working area or transition extra. Eh? So that means you look at J1, K1, for example, if J1, K1 is 0, 0, and your present state is 0, 0, so next state, no change. For example, no change for the Q1 plus and so on. So you can complete this one. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, this is an example. So that means uh, you have to fill out for the J1. Remember, you already have the equation. Fill out for the K1, fill out for the J0, fill out the K0. If you use K map, after the K map, we transfer the value of uh, Q1 plus K map and Q0 K map to fill up. And the target is again. Once you have the state table, you can transfer the information into state diagram. Yeah. Here is you have like um, you have two output triggered. See? Yeah, the output is triggered uh, here, one one. And that's why you got in this state and this state you have the output. Yeah. So the way you write the output, sometimes you can use this square bracket, put one, or you can say zero one and then you put underline and then you put one. So the underline is to separate between this, the coding, the coding for the state or the state name and the output status, right? And I think um, that's it. That's it on the analysis. Analysis actually for me, la, analysis probably uh, tedious in the sense you have to come up with those many equations, but process is easier. Yeah. So that's all uh you want to keep the annotation i don't want that it right now uh i already you see uh i already done uh this exercise with you where is it uh wait one minute eh I'm looking for the exercise to share with you. Online exercise. Uh, we are in chapter what? Chapter nine to eleven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now these are the exercise. Do you see it? I have extract. Wait, wait, wait. Zoom. Okay. Now. Do you see the, uh, this is the, do you see the new PDF file? Nice. Are you here with me? Ah, talk, 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 talk. Don't mute, eh? Okay. Um, this is the exercise I prepared for you. Uh, I've yet assigned who's to do which. Um, so these are all typical questions from past exam question let me reduce a bit the slide so what do you see here um for example this is one exercise from last year question 4b so 
question from this chapter mostly on question four five four four five or three four so this is a motor controller now this question looks very long but actually it's just a counter okay? this is actually just a counter this picture is very long don't get intimidated by this type of questions so what happened is actually this from this table you can get the state diagram uh clockwise it doesn't even have an input does it have input yeah if you have input clockwise i think it has to have input have a command uh what does it say a stepper motor this is just a explain about stepper motor actually what you want design is this part a1 a2 a3 a4 the simplest way is to get this pattern okay so draw the state diagram for a controller that operates in full step mode from five six eight this all reverse so that means it goes from five and then goes six and then go this one and then reverse so that means it has to have additional input for when direct three zero it goes one one way and one is another way so this is one problem from last year not last semester last year that this is another problem ah this is the analysis that we have just covered and for the more circuit it says more but actually it doesn't have to say this is more it's for you to decide but this is obviously more because your output here right it depends on the s2 so this is actually implementation using one hot method i think yeah one hot method because you label this one as s0 bar s1 bar instead of q0 q1 so the objective here derive the state diagram so this one is a reverse uh i think because you have done milestone 4 and in milestone 4 you already design using one hot method although i haven't covered yet you try to, to reverse engineering on that yeah rather than design now analysis okay and uh, what does it say by completing i think this one give, we give you partial partial and this is one two three four so if you remember one hot method uh if you have four one state represent each flip-flop so one two three four that's why you need only four and when you fill up i mean you have to fill out the content here what are the content if this is zero 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 one it has to be uh zero zero one zero 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 one zero zero and one zero 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 and what are the transition level here and obviously there should there should be only input transition value because this is more your output stay inside so for example uh, output one is inside s2 and s3 so let's say if this is s2 and this is s3 so the output is inside here and inside here right so this is for 2018 this is last year as well right uh, analyze the state diagram analyze the state diagram and then each state is denoted ah now you have to come up with the you have also something like this analyze the state for unknown given in q5b1 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 this one eh? q5b1 uh, and complete the waveform in q5b2 so i think how do you do it you have the in you have the rpt rpt stand for what i think you you, sh you check it i forgot already in is the input yeah you have two input one is in one is rpt so assuming you start from what is z1 and z z1 and z0 is uh, the output right each state denoted by q2 q1 q0 and the output z1 z0 so the output it doesn't ask you for the state uh, so for example if your in is zero uh, assuming positive because the line here is on the positive triggering right so it, it kind of hinted to you that it is a positive triggering if the input is in is zero and rpt is one uh, so where is it in is zero 
RPT is 1. I think you just check. And your state starting from 0 here. So as long as your in is 0, it will go back to state 0. So this will be 0. 0, 0, 0. And I think you can complete the state first. Where does it go? Because start from, from the state 0, you trace based on the input. Okay? You can fill up this one. And then because this is more, it's easy. Once you reach to the state that belong to this uh, 100 or 011, you just highlight the output. For example, the output Z is 1 in state 4 and 3, and the Z0 is 0, uh, sorry, 1 is state 4 and state 3, or Z0 or state 4, it become, uh, yeah, you've got the 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Just follow this one. Okay, otherwise, it should not change because it's not triggered. Okay, I have the answer, but I don't want to share you the answer because I don't compile the answer. Uh, but I I highlight this part so that easier if you ask me for the, the solution, I want you to do the solution first. And then if you want to ask me, am I doing it right? Uh, then I will look for this title and look for the you know, answer. So this is final exam questions. This is a ASM chart, so you can skip this one. This will be the chapter after what we have. For your test two, I think ASM is not covered, but I thought, let's put it back, put it in, because there's no place to put it in. Now, this is a more machine. Uh, this is uh, 2018-19, question 3B. A more FSM, you have uh, two output, the sequence, this is a counter. So draw the state diagram, the counter. So if you look at the counter, the state diagram is 0, going 1, going 2, going 2, twice, eh? from 0 going to 1, from 1 going to 2, from 2 going to 2, and then from 2 going to 0, going back. Okay? And you have to identify uh, the output. Has a 1 bit output end and 2 bit output, the output sequence, oh, this is the output sequence, eh? this is the output sequence, you have to figure out, 1 bit, a more bit by FSM has a 1 bit input, 1 bit input, and has a 2 bit output, C1 and C0, so that means you have the circle, uh, you, what do you think this one? Um, it's just a simple counter. But there are many mistakes last time as well. Uh, this is analysis. You can do analysis also. The, the can be the max. You can have the next state, the next state equation implemented rather than using just the logic gates, but you implement using max. You can have uh, this is vending machine. Uh, and then you have to come up with the state diagram of this vending machine. Uh, this is the, the basis of it. This is like partial state diagram. You have one, two, three. Only three states actually. Only three states. That is actually key hinting. This is a ROM. Another one that related to this chapter. So these are all questions from chapter 9, which is on register. No, not including register. Chapter 9 is Introduction to FSM. Chapter 10 is uh, FSM Design. And chapter 11 that we just finished just now on Analysis. Hey, you are very, very quiet. You don't involve at all. Are you prefer if I just, since I'm just talking to myself, probably I can just offline the, the lecture, right? Just talk to myself offline and then share the video. Do you prefer that? Is with me. Thirty six. Wow, oh, many sleeping today. Only thirty six. Only thirty six students. Okay. So this one is what? Is your area is very noisy? 
Adam. Are you here? I think next time I will try to just huh? You only maybe you sleeping in front of your handphone, eh? Hmm. No sound. This one is Q5. This is uh, question five. This is uh, what is this? Determine it's quite busy. You were doing something else, but like you were sleeping. Okay. Determine the sequence of Z computerization. Ah, uh, here actually from this diagram, you can see the main wire is one, one, one. This one will detect the sequence of what? One, 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 three, one, right? This is more. So one, 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 three bits. One, 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 and you detect. Or zero, one, one, detect, isn't it? And the rest is just uh, one, one, one. So if you detect another one, detect again. This is like recycle, okay? You can recycle. And the other one is detection of zero one one. So this is like uh, you not only you have two sequences that you detect together. This is analysis. So for what we covered today, this is actually a good exercise. But because I don't have my whiteboard, uh, my my welcome is not very good. So I don't want to go through with you. You do it, and then you share with me. And this is also another one. Uh, what is it? FSM. Ah, this is a washing machine. ASM. So you have to come up with the the state diagram of these uh, operations of the washing machine. So it has a delicate timer, token inserter, lid open, and so on. This is uh, this is from chapter nine. The uh, pass detection. Yeah. Okay. This is uh this is simple. If you don't, you cannot do that. I don't know lah. This is what three bit arbitrary counter. So it counts. This is very straightforward. This is a design. So you have to derive the state. I mean, from zero, 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 one. Where does it go? Yeah. But actually, you don't have to split this one. You can do, but uh, I think to save the table. This is another one. Uh, this one it doesn't mention now the mini machine that. As a logical one and output, this is test three. Uh, don't complain. Eh? Previously, we have three tests, we take two best, but this time we don't do three, three tests, we just have two tests. But this is question that comes on the test three. So, a million state machine as a one at the output when it detects the sequence of one zero one. Example is this for example, one zero one, you have one, one zero one, one, one zero one, one, and then I don't have any one zero one, one. So draw the state diagram and draw the ASM chart. So actually this one should help you also in come up with the state diagram. Okay. This is analysis. This is state. This is design. Another design. So the vending machine design. Okay. And question 18. So this is a mass. Eh? Uh, this is also another design. Is one using one part method because the SO is only one state figure at any time, therefore obviously you use one hot. So you will be using one, two, three, four, five flip flop in order to implement this one. But I think this is very easy. Why? Because for one hot, you can, what do you need? S0 plus, right? So S0, what is the equation for S0 plus, for example? This is S0. How do you get S0 plus? Oh, this is one hot method that is in the next chapter. And that's it. So I think when, uh, do I assume individual solving it or group solving it? I can assume that some of the problem that involve one hot method, maybe can skip for a bit. So in the meantime, you have uh, from today until next week. So these are the chapters. Apart uh, for your test two, basically these are the possible questions that come up from chapter 9, 10, and 11. These are all co covered into your test, test two. 
and also the register which i share with you last time in chapter eight right chapter eight register i think i have uh, shared with you the exercise those also covered in test two okay and also in final or show 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 in final because these are all final exam question this is not test question there are a lot more in the test question but i can't there's too much already okay uh, but test and final not much different really the question okay, it's just the way we arrange the question slightly different all right is there any question mm. online i think it can but maybe we're going to do in the other class, in my other class, digital electronics, we have ten sets of questions. We put up put up the questions on e-learning, and then it will be randomized. So you don't know which question you get. Uh, but the level is the same. For example, ah, very simple. Can I can randomize this question? For example, I give one set zero one one x x bar x bar x bar x, bar, x and then another set one one zero x blah blah blah. You know, everything changed. Is randomized, but it will be fair enough. The diagram basically not much different. Yeah, that's most likely it's going to be like that. And then probably uh, we will give you one week, like this one will be instruction before that. Uh, extra time to download in case your internet is slow, but with password. And then time of the exam, for example, if the exam starts at two o'clock, two o'clock we give you the password. And then you start answering offline. And then once you finish, we give you like 15 minutes to upload the question on e-learning and upload your script. So your script, if you have a printer, good. You can use a printer. But otherwise, you prepare papers, write on papers. And please have cam scanner. If you have a printer with scanner, okay. Otherwise, you have cam scanner because cam scanner, the picture is quite nice. It's not become like grey, dark colour, right? If you use cam scanner software, combine in one PDF file and you upload on e-learning. So I will get your script from the e-learning. So usually we give you like 15 minutes to upload. Don't use the time to, don't think that you can get extra time in the 15 minutes because that would be dangerous. If all of you are like taking the extra 10 minutes and then the last 5 minutes, all of you, 65 of you jamming, to go on e-learning and uh, you may have problem because there are going to be how many of you there are going to be 200 i think altogether about 430 students so if all the student students are going to upload at that time we may have problem and we may have deduct we may have to deduct some point uh from your upload unless when you do your scam scanner it create file and the file has timestamp if it's have timestamp that saying exactly your time is less than the 15 minutes that uh, we give you the additional then you still save although you're a bit late right There's, there should be something lah. and i we will also ask you to do speed test so this is like to check whether do you really have internet problem or not yeah that so if you say you have internet problem but you don't do speed test then uh, we cannot entertain your late submission okay so your test so far is going to be on the 19 19 today is five five in two weeks yeah five 19 minus five 14 uh, in two weeks time okay. your test two okay any question yeah so this one do it on your own for a while uh, by the way i may i may create uh usually you check you share your you share your solution on padlet right uh, i think next week uh next week onwards um, probably we can focus on this one the next lecture is going to be um we're going through this exercise right so should I assign you to make you work or can you do it? Huh? And I may also probably give you like mock tests, small mock tests. 
to see how you working in the in that situation whereby you have to download and work you know, work it out and then upload I mean you go into the process so you have the the experience of doing that I will try to do that okay okay that's all all right okay so that means the next class I will we will focus on this uh, exercise but you have to do it eh? because um, I am very limited in my my drawing and things like that my whiteboard technical whiteboard is not very good all right okay that's all uh, uh I should have stopped recording a long time ago okay that's all for today so you'll be busy oh yeah milestone five uh I will assign you but I will assign you the work I think you can focus on the preparation for the test first I will give you the milestone five because milestone five is on CUDU so that means it's not really going to be like part of your test but it's definitely in the finals so you can focus for the test first right okay bye